Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a Halloween wreath. I have been on Pinterest and YouTube looking up how to do mesh wreaths and I feel like I'm pretty, pretty good at being able to show you guys now how to do it. Thank you to all the YouTubers who put out these DIYs because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't know how to do any of the wreaths that I've been doing. So shout out to all of my DIY mama queens. But um, so yeah, so today I'm gonna be doing a Halloween wreath. It only cost me $9. So yeah, it's only cost me $9. I'm, I was looking at it to make sure. So if you wanna do this wreath, it'll only cost nine bucks. Everything that I'm going to be showing you guys, I got at the Dollar Tree. So you can find all this stuff at your local Dollar Tree. Um, hopefully, because I know some Dollar Trees don't carry the same things, but definitely you can find most of it at the Dollar Tree. And so I'm gonna show you guys what I got, and then I am going to show you guys how to do it. It's gonna be super cute, I hope. All the colors are cute, so I'm hoping it comes out good. Um, I did kinda wanna get little witch feet to put at the bottom, but then I was like, uh, I don't know. So I don't know, we'll see after how it comes out, and if I add the witch feet, then it'll be a $10 wreath. So, yeah. Like I was saying, this wreath only cost me $9, so if you want to do it, it'll cost you 9 bucks. super cheap. I know a lot of wreaths are expensive, especially if they're like cute customized wreaths, they'll be a lot more. Sometimes they can be up to like $40, and that's kind of a lot of money, so 9 bucks. Even if you have the double doors, if you buy, if you make two wreaths, it's only going to cost you 18 bucks. so it's not that bad um, for two wreaths especially, because I... Hopefully I could get a house with double doors because I would love two wreaths right there. That would be like dream goals for decorating for me. <laughs> but anyways, let's get right into this video so I can show you guys how to do the wreath. So as I was saying, everything I got at the Dollar Tree, so you're going to need a metal wreath ring. You're also going to need some mesh tube or pipe cleaner, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is in black, the color black. You can get whatever color you want. Um, it's not going to be showing in the wreath, but I just stayed safe and got black. You're also going to need the main thing, which is decorative mesh. You need two dominant colors and then other colors that are going to be around it. Um, so you're going to be using more of the dominant color than you will the other colors. So I just got purple because I, I'm going to have some pumpkins in it. There will be enough orange. So these ones and then this one and then this one. You're only going to need four. So, so far what I've seen on Pinterest, everyone uses four. I also wanted something super glittery. I don't know. I want it to be cute. I want my decor decorations outside this year for Halloween to be cute. Last year they were scary. So, this year is going to be a cute Halloween. Y'all know I'm a pumpkin queen. So, I need pumpkins. <laughs> so, my glittery pumpkins are going to be the little decorations around it. And what I found that was super cute that made the wreaths cute are these LED lights. So I got a two pack and they come with a set of 10 and you're gonna wrap them around the wreath so they can have a light on it and they're battery operated so you just have to put a battery in it. So what you're gonna do first is you're gonna take this, um, I accidentally got tube, I was supposed to get um, the pipe cleaner but the tube's gonna have to work because I don't feel like going to Dollar Tree and exchanging it. So all you're gonna do is just tie it right here on like where you want the center of the wreath to be so it's gonna look like this uh, hopefully you guys can see it so it's right here like that and then you can just cut a couple of them out okay so once you have this tied right here then you're gonna go ahead and un like roll your mesh and you're not going to cut the mesh at all, so you don't have to cut it. And you're going to put the mesh under the wreath, so make sure it's underneath the wreath. And then you're going to pinch this right here. You have to pinch the end, and you're going to put it right here where you want to center it. And you're going to pull through the mesh that's right here. 
and you're gonna do about three inches I'm going to do about three inches right here. Let's see. And then once it's pulled through like this, once it's pulled through, once you got it pulled through, go ahead and take the pipe cleaner or the tube, whatever you bought, and tie it together. So once you have it looped. Learn from my mistake and get pipe cleaner, not tube. I'm probably going to do it a double time just so it doesn't come out. Okay. And remember, three inches. Okay, so after I got this done, I'm going to put my finger under the second ring of the wreath and you're going to hold this this one right here with the thumb and you're going to pull it up and you're going to make about three inches again like I am like you did for the first one so pull it up and then go ahead and hold it and do it for the third can you guys see the third ring that's right here the third loop and you're gonna hold it so that's how it is and since this is gonna be the most dominant color on the wreath you're going to do it a second time and then you'll switch to another color because this is gonna be the one that shows the most color and then it's gonna have the splashes of purple so you're gonna go ahead and work with it okay so now to do the next one I'm gonna keep holding this one with this hand so it doesn't fall apart and I'm going to pinch this on the bottom and I'm going to kind of like loop it through the first so hold on go ahead and pull it through right here and do three inches right there kind of hold it within this other side ah and then grab it through the second ring do another three inches and then do the third ring another three inches and it's okay if it looks like kind of messy right now you're gonna go back through after you're done and pull it together so that's how it looks for now so it'll stay in place as long as you're not pulling on it so just keep it like that as long as you're not pulling on it then it won't move but it'll stay in place so now you're going to move this mesh aside and you're gonna put the tube or the pipe cleaner right here again and you're going to put it aside don't worry it's not going to come apart unless you pull on it so don't pull on it and you're going to as you guys can tell you can add four layers of mesh in each one of these rings so you're going to grab your purple or whatever you're going to use and you're going to do the same thing that you did you're going to pinch it together right here you're going to add it underneath You need to make sure you have enough of this to pull on, so I would like let it go a little. And then you're going to come to the first layer, I mean the first ring, and then pull out, pull out the purple. You're, it might get stuck on the other one, so just kind of be careful with that. 
and pull on the purple mesh. And you're only going to use one layer of this one, so you're not going to do two like you did the other one. And do the three inches. Keep them all the same length or it's going to look weird. And then tie it. And then you're going to do the same thing, loop it through. So, ah, it's gonna kind of be a little tricky. So just kind of work with it and then loop it through the second ring. Keep your thumb on it, holding it. it. Helps when you hold them back so you're not getting confused. Um, and then you're gonna go to the third ring. And pull it. And that's how you're gonna do that one. And then you're only gonna do one layer of that And then I have this one, it's a different texture, and I'm going to do it next to it because it's a different texture. to your side to work on it and then you're going to start looping it in just the same way that we did it the first time so you're gonna loop it in make sure it's not all tangled you're going to loop it in right here to the three inches the next three inches remember don't worry about if it looks messy because you're gonna fluff it out later and then you'll do your third ring and make sure you're keeping your three inches or else it's gonna be uneven so now that you have that one you're gonna go ahead and do it again because remember the most the color that you want to be shown the most you're gonna do it twice double of is gonna run out like quicker so you're, that's why you have another one to go off of I only have a little bit more I need but when you're done all you're gonna do is take your pipe cleaner and tie it on the back you're not gonna cut it or anything you're just gonna tie it like how you do it when you start off so then you're gonna go ahead and start your next one the same way that you've been doing it so you're gonna have a, enough purple but you're gonna run out of the one that you have the most dominant color of um, so you're gonna just start it new again so you can finish it and it should all be done pretty soon and I'll come back and show you guys when it's done so here's how it looks after you're all done um, it looks kind of crazy right now but what you're going to do is fluff it out and once you fluff it out and get it how you want it, then go ahead and add in all your stuff. So I'm gonna fluff mine out really fast and then I'll be back to show you how I'm gonna add in on like the lights and stuff. 
So I forgot I bought these packs of batteries at Dollar Tree and so I guess it'll make it a $10 wreath because the lights do need batteries. They're operated by batteries so I did get these for that. So it officially is a $10 Halloween wreath. It's super cute and I love it. So I went ahead and put batteries in the lights and I'm going to get some, you can use a pipe cleaner or the tube that I have and you're just going to put it right here. Make sure you're able to get access to the turning off and on and then you're going to just tie them around so that way they can stay and you're going to do it on both ends so right here so just tie them both so i like to put them on with the lights on so i can see where they're going and i'm just going to kind of see where i want them at and then once i have them in that area i'm gonna like push down on one of them and then get the pipe cleaner or the tube, whatever you have, and just wrap it around. You don't have to do all of them, but just do about two on each line because there's two um, string of lights. So here's how it looks with the lights on. And now that I have the lights, I'm going to go ahead and add in the pumpkins. I mean, you can kind of see like the black of the light, so you want to just kind of like tuck them in. I left them out like that so I can kind of show you guys how to do that. Um, just tuck them in. So as you guys can see how I'm doing that, just tucking them in so you don't really see the black of the... Um, so yeah. But that's how it looks and I'm going to go ahead and add in my pumpkins. So I went ahead and add the fourth pumpkin and I think it looks so cute. I could probably like add like a happy Halloween or I don't know something on there like a little sign. But I actually like the way it looks. It's more of my simple look that I kind of want it for my yearly decorative holiday season thing i just want everything to be a little more simple and plain but also cute and i love it so yeah guys anyways thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys got an idea or tip or if you learned how to make one of these mesh wreaths on today's video please give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button for more videos and i will catch you guys in my next video bye guys